Imagine looking up into the sky and seeing a massive skyscraper dangling from space, not built from the ground up, but hanging literally suspended from an asteroid orbiting Earth. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. A real architecture firm has proposed a breathtaking concept known as the Analemma Tower, a futuristic structure designed to float above cities like Dubai while attached to an asteroid in orbit. In this video, we're diving deep into the real-life proposal, how it would work, and why it could change everything we thought we knew about building on Earth. Number 1. A tower like no other. Meet the Analemma concept. In early May 2025, aerospace news outlets like Orbital Today and social media influencers, including Supercar Blondie, captured global attention with a remarkable proposal from Cloud's architecture office based in New York City. A building concept so bold it defies conventional architecture. Dubbed the Analemma Tower, it isn't built on Earth. It is envisioned to hang from an orbiting asteroid. This visionary design calls for placing a sizable asteroid in a geosynchronous yet eccentric orbit, one that follows an analemma or figure eight pattern over equatorial regions. The asteroid would serve as an anchor point, extended downward by a robust tether, suspending the tower at an altitude of approximately 32 kilometers above Earth's surface. This skyscraper in space would drift daily over cities like Dubai, New York, Havana and Panama City, creating both a technical marvel and a poetic statement on humanity's reach beyond conventional gravity-bound structures. Number 2. How it would work. The Orbital Suspension System. The technological centerpiece of the project is the Universal Orbital Support System UOSS, a mechanism that echoes concepts from theoretical space elevators but adds the complexity of an actual celestial body. In UOSS, the upper tether end would fasten to the orbital asteroid at around 50,000 km altitude. From there, an engineered line of extraordinary tensile strength would descend toward Earth, suspending the tower's mass below. The entire structure holds its position thanks to the gravitational and centrifugal forces in balance. The resulting reverse skyscraper floats in mid-orbit, suspended by tension rather than built upward. Cloud's architecture office's simulations suggest this arrangement can sustain stability and orbit synchronization, allowing the suspended tower to hover predictably over ground anchors around cities such as Dubai. With the astute alignments of inclination and eccentricity, each day the analemma tower would describe a precise analemma in the sky, enabling controlled daily passages above key urban zones. Number 3. Designed for Dubai, why the UAE? The United Arab Emirates, and particularly Dubai, has built a global identity around redefining architectural frontiers. From the Palm Islands to the Burj Khalifa, the Emirate embraces ambitious engineering and colossal investment. Cloud's architecture office strategically pinpointed Dubai as the launch hub for the Analemma Tower, partially due to favorable construction economics, with modern developments costing between $27 and $245 per square foot, a fraction of Western urban rates. Moreover, Dubai's governmental appetite for architectural iconography and innovation makes it a logical initial candidate. The plan also includes migrating the suspended tower via orbital modifications, transferring it to hover over New York, Vienna, or other metropolises once the Dubai phase proves viable. With a robust space agency, ready infrastructure, and a history of hosting mega-projects, Dubai offers both ideal conditions and symbolic validation for this paradigm-shattering endeavor. Number 4. A journey through space, the Analemma orbit. Rather than a stationary satellite, the Analemma Tower floats through an extended daily migration across Earth's skies. Its orbital figure 8 traces high above the equator, holding its slowest arc over selected cities to allow brief windows for ground-based access. Across its 24-hour cycle, inhabitants would experience the spectacle of drifting sunrise and sunset angles, shifting day lengths and ever-changing skylines, truly redefining the concept of urban view. Meanwhile, day-night cycles on board would vary subtly depending on altitude and latitude, creating unique cosmic rhythms. This shifting path transforms a fixed building into a mobile urban installation, blending elements of aerospace, architecture and performance art in a single structural choreography. Number 5. Engineering and Materials – From Carbon Nanotubes to Space-Grade Cables No engineering feat of this magnitude is possible without advanced material science. 
Analemma Tower's design hinges on creating a tether cable with unmatched tensile strength and low density. Only materials like carbon nanotubes or graphene composites potentially qualify. Presently, the longest continuous cable we can manufacture is roughly 6,000 kilometers, but Analemma would need a 35,750-kilometer cable capable of withstanding the immense loads of gravitational forces and variable thermal expansion. The tether must maintain rigidity while resisting atmospheric drag and fluctuating temperatures between minus 60 degrees Celsius and plus 50 degrees Celsius. This challenge is akin to the long-theorized space elevator, although with a mobile counterweight, the asteroid, instead of a fixed geosynchronous platform. While currently theoretical, the project sets a futuristic benchmark calling for breakthroughs in nanofabrication, orbital materials acquisition, and long-span tensile engineering. Number 6. Living in the sky, atmosphere, temperature, and solar power. At its uppermost reaches, the Analemma Tower would hover at an altitude of approximately 32 kilometers, well above commercial airliner flight paths. At this height, atmospheric pressure falls to about 0.162 pounds per square inch, roughly 1% of sea level pressure, and temperatures can plummet to minus 40 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, every window and wall must be pressure resistant and heavily insulated to sustain human comfort. Yet residents would gain nearly 45 extra minutes of daylight each day, thanks to the tower's location above the Earth's curvature, a design advantage for solar energy collection. Speaking of energy, the tower would house space-based solar panels positioned above most of the atmosphere. With unobstructed exposure to the sun, they'd generate significantly more power than surface panels. To support life, a closed-loop water recycling system would collect rain and atmospheric moisture and purify all wastewater, allowing the tower to function as a nearly self-sustaining habitat. Number 7. Functional Spaces – From Homes to Space Burials The tower's interior is envisioned as vertical zones serving different purposes. The lower sections that are nearer Earth would accommodate residential units, offices, retail stores and logistics hubs, essentially an entire city on stilts. Mid-elevation floors would include communal spaces like vertical gardens, observation decks, lounges and gallery areas. Further upward, research labs, spiritual zones and even space burial platforms have been proposed. One extraordinary idea allows for remains to be launched into higher orbit as ceremonial space burials. Vertical movement throughout would employ electromagnetic cable-free elevators, enabling instantaneous travel between levels. Number 8. Media Reaction. Vision meets skepticism. Gulf News responded to the Analemma Tower proposal with a blend of wonder and caution. The outlet described the concept as dangling from the sky, emphasizing both its visual drama and the unprecedented ambition behind it. While praising the architectural vision for pushing boundaries, Gulf News highlighted that the project remains entirely theoretical. The article pointed out that although Dubai is known for embracing bold, futuristic designs, even this proposal might be too advanced for current engineering capabilities. The tone remained grounded, acknowledging the imaginative brilliance of suspending a skyscraper from space, but also noting the vast technological and logistical hurdles that must be overcome. For Gulf News, the Analemma Tower serves more as a provocative exploration of future possibilities than a practical plan ready for execution. Number 9. Feasibility Roadblocks – Not Practical – Yet Despite its breathtaking ambition and captivating visuals, the Analemma Tower remains entirely conceptual at this point in time. Even the architects behind the proposal, Cloud's Architecture Office, openly acknowledge that such a structure is not achievable with today's scientific or engineering capabilities. One of the most significant challenges is the idea of capturing an asteroid and precisely placing it in a geosynchronous orbit above Earth. This is no small feat. Space agencies like NASA and ESA have only recently begun experimenting with redirecting small asteroids, and even those efforts involve considerable cost, risk, and uncertainty. Maneuvering an asteroid into a position stable enough to anchor a skyscraper-sized object from its base is a level of control that remains far beyond current aerospace technology. Equally daunting is the requirement for an ultra-strong tether that could suspend the tower, the proposed length of this cable is estimated at over 35,000 kilometers, nearly the full distance around Earth. 
This tether would have to be constructed from materials with extreme tensile strength and minimal weight, such as carbon nanotubes or advanced graphene composites. However, our current manufacturing capabilities for these materials fall short. To date, scientists have only succeeded in producing carbon nanotube fibers in continuous lengths of a few kilometers under highly controlled conditions. Scaling that up to tens of thousands of kilometers with the structural reliability needed to support a vertical city is an engineering milestone that remains in the distant future. Furthermore, the tower would need to survive in one of the harshest environments imaginable. At such extreme altitudes, it would face intense atmospheric drag from the upper atmosphere, fluctuations in temperature due to thermal expansion and contraction, and constant exposure to radiation from space. Maintaining the stability of the entire structure would require active systems for propulsion and altitude control to counter orbital decay and other gravitational perturbations. These systems, too, are beyond our present capabilities, especially if they are to operate continuously and autonomously in near-space conditions. Additionally, the concept introduces unprecedented regulatory and logistical challenges. Coordinating with international aerospace agencies, managing orbital traffic, and developing legal frameworks for space-based construction would require global cooperation on a scale never before attempted. The notion of a structure orbiting and crossing multiple national airspaces also introduces complex geopolitical concerns that would need to be addressed before construction could ever begin. In short, while the Analemma Tower offers an imaginative vision of future urban life suspended between Earth and space, its execution depends on scientific breakthroughs that have yet to be made. It is a bold thought experiment that pushes the boundary of what architecture could become, but its realization is likely many decades away, awaiting progress in spaceflight, materials science, energy generation, and international collaboration. Number 10. Why it matters pushing architectural imagination. Whether or not the Analemma Tower becomes a reality, its significance lies in redefining architectural possibility. It challenges traditional notions of buildings by merging Earth-based cities with space-bound structures, prompting fresh thinking about sustainability, solar power, water recycling, and the meaning of place. This thought experiment pushes architects, engineers and futurists to look beyond ground-level limits and imagine a future where structures operate in stratospheric or orbital conditions. Its true legacy is sparking innovation across disciplines like aerospace engineering, nanomaterials research, urban planning and environmental resilience. That's the full overview of the Analemma Tower, a breathtaking concept uniting architecture, orbital physics and visionary ambition. If these ideas fascinate you, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop links to your favorite documentary, video or article in the comments. We're just scratching the surface of space-age architecture. Stay tuned for more.